Hold on, I'm, I'm not ready to stream yet, but I wanted to, uh... I, uh... I want to talk about munchies, which are, it's, it's a, it's a snack mix. Um, uh, so munchies is a snack mix. It has like little, hang on, let, let me look at what's in munchies real quick. So here's my, my munchies idea. Uh, one second. Okay, here we go. Looking at the munchies now. Okay, hang on. Never mind, they took my idea. <laughs> my munchie's idea was, um... My munchie's idea was, I was like, I was gonna be like... Like, munchies is like... It's a bunch of different... Snacks, all mixed in together. But... They're not all on-brand snacks. Some of them, like, like usually it's like just the Cheetos are on brand, but then there's little fake Doritos or there's little fake, there's little fake Cheez-Its in there. Or there's, it's, it's not real rolled gold pretzels or they're not real, real, uh, sun chips. But now I'm looking at a bag of munchies and I see that these are in fact all labeled with their corresponding brand identities. So they are in fact sun chips and Doritos and rolled gold and Cheetos. So my, my idea, my idea for, for munchies was going to be like the munchies but with all name brand snacks so there you go um uh the bougie munchies uh you mean gardettos all right i'll be back
Okay. Lee Gorpin? Len Wiseman. Yes. Mike. Len M Wiseman directs the, the Deus Ex movie. And we do a fun uh, gender blind casting of JC Denton. And she's played by Kate Beckinsale. Glenn Wiseman and Kate Beckinsale really are the 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 poor man's Paul W. S. Anderson and Mila Jovovich. Uh, Paul, it's Paul W. Yes, P. T. Okay, P. T. Anderson is the one who makes all the boring movies about things like thread and oil, and Paul W. S. Anderson is the one who makes cool movies. Uh like Resident Evil 2. Simple guide. S simple guide to 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 re remember who makes what. Uh if a boring movie you see PT Anderson it be. Uh, if Paul has W and S, the movie, great success. <laughs> That's the device that you can use to, to know the difference between the two, the primary filmmaking Pauls. Um... P.T. Anderson is a really good filmmaker. I, I know that Paul T. Anderson is... Is, is that his name, P.T. Anderson? He, he, he's a good... He makes good films. Paul W.S. Anderson <laughs> makes terrific movies, though. Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what's Paul W.S. Anderson's best movie. I haven't seen Monster Hunter, so I don't know where that fits in the in the playable trailer, Anderson. Did he do Mortal Kombat? He did do Mortal Kombat. It was it wasn't good. That one's not good. The only good fight scene in Mortal Kombat was added in reshoots and directed by his stunt coordinator. Event Horizon? Event Horizon is good. Once again, we're at a, at a point of convergence here because I remember seeing Event Horizon and my friend telling me that it was a ripoff of Warhammer 40k <laughs> because it uses a similar concept of like hell in space, chaos in space. Like a spaceship, when spaceships do faster than light travel, they're they're moving through some unknowable hell realm. Um. Anyways, Cryary, thank you for subbing back up. Welcome to the pizza party. Frankly, Lou has subbed up as well for twelve months. Oh, Kimmy's has been here for twenty-seven months. Thank you, Kimmy's. Uh, Crystalize has been here for a year. Sylph been here for twenty-two months. There was a couple at the beginning, but the stream always goofs up. The, the, it doesn't start tracking in time, so thank you for subbing up, even if I didn't say thank you earlier. There's two with a reboot movie on the way. Hang on, what? What? Yeah. Oh my god, Trench going the fuck off. Thank you, Trench. Gifting 10 subs to the channel. Going to Firestone Breakfast. Yeah. P. Glaze Doom Church, very good name. Uh, Fan Milky Way. Uh, Butsuko, or Butsukoi. Uh, Scalding Hot Coffee. Yeah. Scalding Hot. Thank you, Scalding Hot. Uh, Saint Vitalist. Uh, I'm sorry, I goofed the name up. The Blakery. Uh, Mechiato. And Philip the Snowman. Yeah. Go off trench. Ah. The trench, and Doom Church is sub back up too. Doom Church, that's a good name. Doom Church again. It sounds like some. It sounds like some. Uh, let, let, let me let me get these these levels up top here. It sounds again some Warhammer shit. 
Doom Church? That that that's that's some Warhammer shit. Yee. Um. All right, let, let, let me give you all a quick quick Warhammer update. I watched... I know, I've got full Warhammer brain. I've threatened in the past to become a Warhammer guy, and I think, like, I may have been pushed over the edge recently. Uh, so... Here's where I'm at. I watched a, I watched a, t about two and a half hours of YouTube content of a guy just explaining a guy just explaining all the different factions. So I know about all the different factions of the Astartes now. I didn't watch Astartes yet. I did not watch the, sh the, the, the short film yet. But I did watch two and a half hours of people... Uh, of a guy explaining all of the various factions and sub-factions of Warhammer lore. Uh, then what I did was I watched two Warhammer tabletop games. Uh, who's my favorite god? Uh, probably Zinch. Is that the is that the the, the creepy dude? Like the, I mean, they're all creepy dudes, but he's like the little wiry dude who like he's like the causality god or whatever. Um, I'm not. I, I don't think I'm gonna buy Warhammer figurines. I was. I was on the game. I did have the Games work Workshop website open today. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, starter kit." You know that that, that, that sounds nice. <laughs> Just to start. Just get started. It was like ninety nine dollars. Uh. And it didn't have anything good in it. So I think if I ever get a Warhammer thing, I'll probably just like individually purchase a piece that I like. Uh, anyways, uh, so okay, so the Warhammer update, that's what I did. I watched, I watched two and a half to three hours of, of Warhammer lore content on YouTube. Watch the yes, Tentacular Moth. Those were the things that I was watching. The 40k and 40 minutes. They're really good, and they've got really good like commentary that contextualizes who's doing what and why. Um, and then what I did was I bought uh, the first book of the Horus Heresy on on Audible. So I'm now listening to a Warhammer audiobook, and it's really good. On Dan Abnett, good writer. Let me see what else he's written. You can play on Tabletop Simulator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, let's start talking about the game we're going to play today. We're going to get back to Deus Ex today. Tabletop simulator, you can't paint hot pink accents on your guys. Oh, <laughs> I also picked up Dawn of War 2. I think I mentioned that on the last stream. This is how it happens. This is what happened with me and Dark Souls like two or three years ago. I don't know how I maintain room for all the... I mean, the, the good thing is, like, things slow down, right? And then you have the benefit of, you know, sort of putting an interest on the back burner. I'd say that's where Dark Souls is for me right now, because obviously there is, there hasn't been and there probably isn't going to be a lot of Souls content for a little while. Um until Elden Ring I, I, and I'm not expecting anything from Elden Ring for like at least another two years um uh so yeah so now my brain has to just focus its attention somewhere else is this better or worse than becoming a homebrewing guy I need to know if I have a leg to stand on says the Blakery 
I don't know. I'm not gonna make value judgments. Home, home, home we, we we need homebrew guys too. I have homebrew friends. My brother-in-law is a homebrew homebrew guy. Uh, Warhammer. I don't think I can ever become a Warhammer guy, though. I can't. I can ever become a true Warhammer guy. No true Warhammer guy, simply because I do not have room. And also, I mean. I spend money on other stupid hobbies, so I could probably, like, move things around and be thrifty enough to, like, afford being a Warhammer guy over time, but I've got to make up for a lot of lost ground, and I physically don't have the space to be a Warhammer guy. Um, but I think, you know, I'm sort of terraforming my brain to be a Warhammer, you know, for, you know, when the opportunity strikes. I will have already done the work. I will have conditioned myself. I will have groomed myself to be a Warhammer guy. Yeah, I can be an emotional Warhammer guy. I was looking... <laughs> I did my favorite part of getting into a new hobby today, and it's uh, looking up Warhammer memes. Sorry, it, my favorite part of the hobby is is when you're too early in a hobby to understand the memes going and looking up the memes uh it was one of the best things with dark souls it's one of the best things with like like fighting games and tekken and stuff like that is is not understanding the memes but going to look at the meme pages then doing the, the mental work to work backwards from there to figure out what the joke is that's a good hobby what is the best warhammer video game says doom church that's a great question for the chat if you're looking for an action game, Space Marine is like a fun afternoon of hack and slash and shooting. Uh, Vermintide is not in the 40k universe. They're working on a sort of Left 4 Dead style game in the 40k universe. Dawn of War. Uh, those games are supposed to be very good. Um, Space Hulk is like a... F it's a tactical shooter. It looks kind of neat. I don't really understand. I know Space Hulk is, is adapted from one of the tabletop games. Um, but they adapted it into sort of like a tactical dungeon crawl shooter. Yeah, I'm a non-practicing Warhammer guy. <laughs> Your boy is old. That's, that's perfect. Because it's like, like, just like, you know catholicism or anything like it's got catholicism i, I don't practice yeah I, i'm warhammer but i don't practice it's like being being spiritual but not religious i'm uh Listen, I'm spiritual. Like, I don't necessarily believe, you know, there's a god emperor sitting on the throne, the imperium of man being fed a thousand souls a day. Like, I don't necessarily believe that. But, you know, I think maybe there's something out there. Lapsed Warhammer guy. <laughs> 60k magic cards. All right. All right, let's, let's get into the gaming zone. Just Kimmy, thank you for the bits. <sighs> Lost the faith, crisis of faith. I might have just crashed, crashed the game. Hang on, stay with me. I've been doing this a lot. No, we're good. We're, we're pre caching. Then I go over to here and grab this. Alright. That should be a good amount of audio for you. Boom. 
Boom. Back in New York, baby. Alright, so we're in the club. Hey, yeah, we stream. We stream three times a week. And this is my first time playing Deus Ex. And it, it, yes, this is the first Deus Ex, and this is my first time playing it. You are here because of martial law. I didn't know they were using Marines. Nah, you not cool likes to work alone. Just came out to look up a girl I used to know. That girl at the table over there, Sandra Renton. FEMA gave me a pass for the curfew. What's FEMA doing handing out travel papers? They took over the advanced submarine base where I work. Yes, we just finished Hong Kong. We're back in uh, Hell's Kitchen. We are... We just learned... We're about to learn about the Illuminati. Somebody, somebody told me that... Somebody told me... Uh, that the Illuminati... Maybe I'll check it out for you. Or setting up shop. Used to be. Or running things. I don't know. It's, it's the fucking, you know, it's the same stuff every time. It's the Illuminati or, or running the government. You think you can do something about it? I can have my buddies at the front gate let you slip by. My name's Vinny. Tell him you know me. Thanks. I'll see what I can find out. Yeah, we're already out of Hong Kong. We, we charged through it. Hi, Sandra. Too bad about the hotel. I guess you Natko shot it up pretty bad. No use worrying about it now. I did right? see the guy who spilled his I drink, and we asked him. We, 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 he told me he spilled his They're drink. The only ones. You should stay out of Hell's Kitchen. People have been looking for you. Yeah. This one guy, he came to the hotel and said he was your cousin. What did he look like? Just an average guy, but I think he was an undercover cop. Was he maybe wearing a black trench coat and body armor with a bunch of belts on it? All right. Uh, let's go to the medical clinic, use their med bot, uh, and then also kill a guy when we're there. There's a, a guy working ED-209 out in the hole. Oh! Can they move between loading areas? Let's find out. I'm gonna go out the back door. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Wait, there is no back door. Did I imagine there? Okay, yeah, there's a back door. Oh, what the fuck? Why are you shooting at me? Hang on, bartender, what? She one of them? Was she a fed? Hang on, let me load my game. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Sandra. Too bad about. They aren't the. You should. Yeah. What did he? Just. All right, we're gonna go out the back this time. Imagine. Imagine a fuck. I mean, I don't know how many all are from New York, but imagine a nightclub or a bar or any sort of club in New York City in Manhattan with this amount of unused space. This might be strange. Like, uh, to to put it in simple terms. Per foot you know, square footage cost in New York City real estate. It's 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 ridiculous. So when you get a space like this, you're putting stuff out. You're gonna you're gonna get you're, you're gonna get some benches along here, right there. You're gonna get some nice benches up here. You're gonna maybe get like a narrow thin, maybe, you know, six inch bar jut sticking out there so people can rest their drinks here. Uh bar makeover, Deus Ex. Uh the ATMs 
Mm, honestly, probably move those over near the bathroom. I think that's where people are going to be expecting to see those. Uh, this space is vexing to me. Another column of public access terminals here. Maybe these are here by mandate. Maybe in whichever, you know, the, the grim, dark future of New York City. No weapons allowed. Um, maybe these are mandated that they have to be here. Really, I think people would just be staying on that phone, but this game was made 20 years ago. Maybe we didn't anticipate, you know, pocket computing moving to the point where it's at. Anyways, so you've got this causeway here where you, first of all, you just run into this fucking dead wall here. And it is important, I guess, to let people know no weapons beyond this point. But at this point, ready? I'm in the bar. I can't see the bar. I don't want to come into a bar and then not know where I need to go to get a drink, right? It should be visible from the moment. Like, all right, th this kind of corridor is fine. You're funneling people in. I'm in. I should see the bar. I should be able to see, I should be able to set my eye line, my, my sight to where I'm going to go next and head that direction. But instead, we got to sort of walk through here, walk through all this dead space. Nobody, nobody's going to come over here to dance. Nobody's going to come over here to drink. If somebody comes over here, it's going to be to do something weird because it, it's that kind of space, right? It feels, it feels, yeah, it doesn't feel good. And then you got this room and this room's fine, right? If, if this door right here just opened up into this space, fine, great. Cause I can see the bar from here. I can see the bartender's face she can see me that's important the bartender should know when somebody comes into the bar right come over here and this is i do like this right this is nice have a little privacy here right because it's a different difficult balancing act because you, you want you want to come into the bar and you want to know where you're going immediately when you come into the bar once you're into the bar you, you'd like a little privacy Perfect, right here. A little, little private booth here. Um, but yeah, the biggest no-no, I think, is all this open space. I would recommend... I don't know if they have the, the title to the space here, what, what's going on here, what's going on in here, whether this is part of another business. I would recommend... Yeah, you, you, you might want to relocate that bar, or at least have a secondary mini bar here where people can get an, another set of drinks, or, you know get uh, an optional drink station here. So then at least you have one employee in the bar who knows who's coming and who's going, right? Snow White says, yeah, needs more tables, more games. What the, yeah, what? See, this is good right here. I love one of these. I love a good, uh, good, good uh, load-bearing pillar with a little bar built around it. That's great. Got one table here seems to be in working order that's true Paul, Paul Manafort 20 says there is a in-game pandemic so maybe this is just like maybe they took all the tables and chairs and just stacked them out back so that like they can stay at capacity maybe this maybe this is reflective reflective of reflectant reflective maybe this reflects the, the current capacity that they're allowed to have under current uh, government mandates Anyways, this has been Deus Ex Bar Rescue. Let's go to the free clinic and kill an Illuminati snitch. Oh yeah, I killed a bunch of cops. <laughs> Hang on. Daddy's gotta go back to work. is closing. Oh, that's sad. Hey, hey, Coleman. How you holding up? 
I thought there was a med bot in here somewhere. I think there is. Let me scope it out. has seen better days there's talk that you're a spy a spy for whom i just want to hear your side of the story so am i working for the cia or fbi you tell me either way they'd have me wearing a better suit i'll take that as a denial something newsworthy about the clinic tonight i interviewed the doctors poker faced as politicians didn't even blink when you say the word ambrosia Maybe they think you're talking about the food of the gods. I'm serious. Don't believe the stories coming out of Hong Kong that the government had a cure all along. <laughs> Could be. Hey, you're a reporter. Heard the name Stanton Dowd. Dowd? Sure, used to be a big importer, right? Thinking of starting a business? I just need to find him. In some kind of trouble? Do you know him or not? Afraid I don't know how to contact him. I thought he was dead, actually. So a guy paid me to kill this guy. I figured you were up to no good. But it doesn't seem urgent. Let me see if it's an actual goal. Kill the traitor, Joe Green. I mean, I could. No skin off my... My butt. I've already crossed the line, I think, with this character. I have... I have... I killed a lot of people. they might notice. Hang on, let, let me see. Let me see if I can lure him into this room. Wait, who's he a traitor to, though? Uh, let's see. Harley Philbin, this guy told me. If that's enough to go on. Harley Philbin, that guy at the bar, said that he's NSF and that this guy's a traitor. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Ogre Wolf says, "My last save is me just staring at that guy. I don't know if I should kill him or not. I think we'll be okay if we don't kill him." But we saved, we we maxed our health out, that's good. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. Oh. What's a couple more? All right, folks, time to clean up. I'm trying to pick up the body, though. I don't want to, yeah, I just want to pick up the body. Oh, God damn it. Are these guys going to keep spawning? I guess so.
Uh, good tip. Apparently, I can just hit F2 to go straight into goals and notes. That's good to know. Let me check that. Oh, yeah, cool. I don't know if I'll remember that, <laughs> but I'll try. Boy, this game is great, I, but I am so excited to get into some of the more modern follow-ups to it. I'm uh, very excited for Prey. I'm very excited for um, Dishonored, and I'm excited to play the uh, Human Revolution, too. Uh, not the OG Prey, the uh, the one that's sort of an, uh, the, the, the space, I mean, they're both sci-fi, but the, uh, the, the recent one. It's wild to me, like, how unlike each other those games are. Um, like, so much so that I just don't, I, 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 I like, I accept it, I readily accept that Prey and... You know, Prey 2004, whatever, 2003, and, and, and Prey 2017, 18 are technically the same intellectual property. I just don't understand how. Are there any in are there any lore connections between them, even like nods? Oh jeez. This looks bad. Wasn't this Smuggler Shop? Did they blow up Smuggler Shop? Let's check out the, Ho the Hilton. See what's changed since the last time we were in town. Oh, good to know that I can sort those those bots. Uh, hello, Mike. What are you streaming tonight? If you're here, oh, what the fudge! Am I not safe anywhere? Star Wars Squadrons campaign, right. It's a fun campaign. Short, simple, to the point. All right, let's go chop up a robot. Right, hang on. We have a thing that'll make us technically invisible to them. I just got to figure out where it is. F3. Whoops. I think I did a bad job. <laughs> Medal of Honor VR, is that good? Is that good? Is is there good? Is there positive buzz around that? Respawn. Oh, nice. Respawn is very good. So, our primary goal is to meet Stanton and Dad at Osgood and Sons, near the tunnels leading to the warehouse district, and free the hostages. Oh, I wonder if we can go back and free those hostages now. Wait, no, we can't. I don't think we can. If we go back there, they're immediately going to explode.
Oh yeah, you're right. We did save him. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. They're all fine. They're fine. Everybody saw that they're fine. I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm trying to be, uh, trying to be precious here with, with additional kills. I've already, God, you know, I've, I've already done so many. What's one more? Uh, let me actually check my skills and see if I can level anything up yet. Low tech, uh, not quite a being. I, I am absolutely gonna level up low tech weapons. I'd love to be advanced. Accuracy, damage, and rate of attack. I could go with that. I want to be a master. Is he going to turn around? I think he's going to go all the way down that block. What's this? All right, that's Smuggler's Place there. I'm trying to remember. Is it, is it down that tunnel? Maybe that's where I need to go. Suspect is still in the area. Check out that burned building again. Okay. No problem. Put him on the ground. Put him on the ground. The fuck? Wait. Okay. Yeah. So more more guys can just spawn out of your line of sight. I see that. Okay. A safe's coming. <clears throat> Speaking of safe scumming, I've been loving divinity so much. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with that too right now. Um, it's so good. It's so very, very good. Um, I just finished, I think, the first act. Um, Agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, Council on Foreign Relations types. <laughs> we always stayed in the background, even when that was true. You all right? Uh, caught this damn plague myself. <laughs> anyway, we never had troops like Majestic 12 or freighters full of bioweapons if... <laughs> If what you say is it's, uh, Bijan. It's accurate. I just don't know where the freighter would dock. They'll want to hide it. The only facility big enough on the East Coast <coughs> is the advanced submarine facility at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyards. Sounds promising. <coughs> They're probably storing the virus in the ship's diesel tanks. The only way to make sure <coughs> it's <coughs> the only way to make sure it's destroyed will be to scuttle the ship. Scuttle a super freighter? <coughs> it can be done, if you know where to place the charges. <coughs> Smuggler should have explosives that will work. You sure you're all right? <sighs> I'm hanging in there. If you come across some ambrosia on that ship, however, 
Don't worry, I'll get you some medicine. I'll give you a blueprint of the ship. <coughs> the X's mark the five trihull wells. <coughs> Crack those up. <coughs> Reverse the bilge pumps, and the ship will split open like a banana. A banana? Also, I just remembered that guy at the clinic who I said I didn't want to kill. What's his name? Did He gave me proof. Let me see. <laughs> Hello. Um, that could be photoshopped. That could just that could just be him getting hassled. Decks, upper deckers. I mean, we, we barely have bananas in our dystopian future. Don't get me started on bananas. All right. Let's see if we can sneak down into Smuggler's place and get those explosives from him. Hopefully he doesn't try to charge us an arm and a leg for it. We are preparing for our operation now. You are finished. Alright, bro. Turn your address on. Turn your location on. Password? Bloodshot. Dissolve your avatar. I'm gonna drag you down to the depths. Uh, y'all seen y'all seen that Longmont Longmont Potion Castle? As I, th as I think Blake introduced me to, uh, not 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 the Blakery, but a uh, cool Blake. Uh, the I I I guess I've seen a bunch of the Longmonts now, Brushy, but the, my favorite one is GameStop or GameStop Two, the uh, the one about the the two hundred dollar Call of Duty concert, not concert competition. That Blake, yeah. Cigarettes. Cool. Cigarettes. I need Call of Duty control. concert. I've located a supply of the virus that causes great death. Holy shit, Weed Homer 69. Is that Wesley Snipes Talk from Blade 3 Spirators. refusing to open his eyes? What do you expect me to do about a freighter? Help me scuttle it. You have any extra lambs or rockets? You think you can scuttle Fuck a freighter yeah. with a lamb? A few lambs at weld points. I'll help you out. How about a rocket for a get gun? Usually save those for the NSF, but I'll sell it at a loss, say twenty five hundred. You can also have a half dozen. Uh, Bijan, probably no no souls now. likes for a while. I'm, um, I'm on a, a lot of people could die. first person like stealth slash sandbox kick stuff like this and dishonored. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. I might replay. I was itching to replay Sekiro, but I don't think I'll do that on stream. Uh, let's see. Oof, I don't have my Gep gun anymore. Give me a break. Hundreds of millions of lives are at stake. I like what you're doing. But I gotta Immersive cover my Sims. I like that. Hey, I'm starting to get nervous about this. What you're about to do is going to turn some heads. I don't want any trouble from the authorities. And Warhammer. 
And still Tekken. Uh, the, the hottie is J.C. Denton. Um, relax. No one followed me. Actually, Unak was planning an operation of some kind. Sekiro is so good. Sekiro is so very, very good. What kind of operation? I haven't done any of the boss rush stuff. Me. I don't think you want to get caught in the middle. Thanks for the warning. Come on, let's wrap this up. Did he give me what I wanted? No? Are you going to maybe go press a button that will reveal a bunch of cool items for me? Is that what's going to happen here? Are you being a fucking asshole, bro? You telling me the truth about this super freighter? They probably want to overwhelm the government with an epidemic so that it'll be easier to seize power. If you ask me, I bet FEMA wants to cause a national emergency and get control of the army. I think we can expect Walton Simons to make a grab for power one way or another. That's all they would need. One national emergency. Then they could get rid of the president, shut down Congress, and suspend the Constitution. Wish I had 2,400 credits. I could use a half a dozen lambs. You can always oh, definitely. Uh, if the if there's a good deal on Dark Souls 3 on you Steam, you should caught. definitely grab it. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, Dark Souls 3 goes off so hard. All right, I'm going to see if I can steal from this guy. I'm trying to remember where his safe is. It's behind his bed, right? Do I, know the, I don't know the password for it, but maybe it's on his computer. Let me. I'll, I'll go check his computer before I burn my hacking tools on on attempting to, to break into his vault. Mind if I check my email on here? Dang it. All right. Well, I'm gonna steal from you, my friend. I mean, there's no lambs. This sucks. Thermoptic camo. Shit, man. I mean, I'll take it, but it wasn't worth it. All right, how am I going to get a hold of a half a dozen lambs? How much money do I have? I could, I could run around and go hack some ATMs. Munitions at the base. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that'll work. Well, let me get out one of my big guns. Uh, F1. Let's put this on slot four there. Because we might have to do some big shooties on our way out of here. light down uh god i remember hearing so many terrible things about blight town but i think i've played Oof. i think i've finally played enough dark souls and specifically dark souls one and blight town enough that it's not that bad
All right, bad strat. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run next time. Oh wait, I, I also did just get that, that thermoptic camo from that guy's vault. I should probably just pop that on and then then uh, then boo boo. Um, now that I have done Demon Souls, I have seen the true face of Evil Swamp, and it's, it's, uh, move, move you fucker. It's, uh, so they can just see me, even with my thermoptic, maybe, maybe that's not what I think, maybe it doesn't do what I think it does. Demon Souls has a really terrible swamp. Let's go. Uh, or it's it's like you're in a huge dark cave full of poison, and you're just slogging through it. I'm ready. I feel like the best poison swamp in a FromSoft game is Sekiro's, just because you have the. The grappling hook, which lets you pretty much bypass most of it. But every single FromSoft game has a shitty swamp in it. Shitty poison bog area. I haven't played Dark Souls 2's shitty bog. I don't know how it compares. I've heard it's really... I, I think I heard it was really bad because there's like people who like shoot projectiles at you. I mean, the good thing about the terrible Demon Souls swamp is it's one of the few areas in Demon Souls that has like a, you know, the classic Dark Souls start style like shortcut where it's like, okay, you've done this once, you don't have to do it again. A Bloodborne Swamp, the giant children's zone. That, you know, that, that one's not too bad because you can, you can pretty much bypass interfacing with most of the poison there. Yes, and Sekiro Swamp has some nice colors. It's colorful. It's nice to look at. Also, and like the rest of the aesthetic, the surrounding aesthetics of Bloodborne's Swamp are great too. It's just like so it's such an alien, strange place that like are these guys going to be neutral to me? Hey, you came in on the chopper. You must be with the DC people. Yep, Gomer. Why did I have, why did I fucking unlock that door? I'm mad. I'm mad. What a waste. Hang on. Oh shit. <laughs> Hang on. Is there an auto load? All right, whoops. I did this to myself. Yeah, you know what? Let's go kill Joe Green and get some points. Who cares? Well, actually, no. no. <laughs> Thank you, Faith. No one help him. It's New York's on high alert now, so I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to skedaddle out of here. Oh, fuck. What? Are you kidding me? Oh. 
when the shipping has been destroyed, I will require you to go to Paris. You must find Dow's associate, Morgan Everett. Let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, the camo did work that time. <laughs> Sebzub says, the ape boss in Sekiro pranked me. I messaged, this Kong so dead, it isn't funny, in the group chat, and then immediately said, wait. <laughs> One of the legitimate best, I mean, a, a, a big part of the reason why that was the game of the year when it came out was that fucking moment, that full fake out of, like, giving you the fucking, like, enemy vanquished or whatever text on the screen and then like a full like uncomfortable like 15 seconds before he just gets up again all that just so I didn't waste a single lock pick on this. Um, all right, quick save now. Uh, so one of the cool things I was watching, um, some guides to, uh, don't mind if I do, I'm a little sewer boy. I was watching some more recent Sekiro boss guides. Sorry, this guy's talking. People keep talking to me. Yeah, I was watching one of the um, more recent boss guides that was like put together after the game had been out for a while, and one of the interesting things that I didn't know is that the hitbox on the um, the second form of the ape guy, he does that screen, he does that that scream where he jams his head onto his own torso and just like screams, and it does a uh, it does whatever the fear damage is. I thought that was just a massive AOE. It turns out that's just projected mostly out in front of him. So if you just kind of run past him, you can get out of the AOE for the big ape scream. Uh, quarantine gaming, do I play League? No, I don't play League. I played a couple hundred hours of Dota 2, but I never got into League. I thought about it a little bit um, uh, a, a year or two ago, but did not make the leap, the leap of legends. All right. What is that? What's in the pipe? I'm guessing there's a way that I can fill this up and swim across, maybe? But not here. Can't swim down. Oh, that's a grenade! I mean, these guys are still cool with me. I'm just gonna keep scooting around till they get mad. All right, there's a camera. That camera's probably gonna become a problem. I could try to jump up over. No. You with Pages Group? Yeah. They just turned in. Mind if I take a look at the ship? The FEMA people don't want a lot of traffic through. Got something sensitive going on with the Chinese. I'll stay out of the way. If I was you, I wouldn't even look at this ship unless I was damn sure I was needed. Why don't you turn in? I'm late. Let me pass. The gate stays closed. Actually, our orders are to shoot anyone who tries to get in. We won't go that far, but don't expect a warm reception inside the perimeter. That's nice that they won't shoot me.
Alright, I see a panel in there I can bypass. Once that camera pans over this way, here we go. Oh, that's an easy bypass, but that's just the alarm sounder tool. So what I want to do is I got to find a way to knock out all these guys. And I'm going to do it. Owl Father is one of the best boss fights in that game. I think the thing that I like about uh, Sekiro um, is that there's a lot of those fights. My favorite Dark Souls fights are the ones where it's you and somebody who feels roughly... Is that going to go off when it sees me? Okay, we're fine. Where it's you against somebody who feels roughly like they've, they've got sort of a similar skill set to you. Or at least a sort of similar set of tools. Um, and I, I love the big novelty boss fights too. Like I love the gaping dragon in the first uh, Dark Souls. Um, and I love stuff like the big apes and things like that. But in general, I like it where the, you know, it's one-on-one -on -one combat. And Sekiro has a whole bunch of those really, really good ones. Owl, both owl fights are great. Every uh, Ishinashina, Ishinashina fight is really good. Um, can I stack trash cans? Let me, let me try. Thanks for the tip. I don't know if I can get on one trash can is the problem. What? Right Who snitched? What's this? Did I just take too long? Is that what I did? Please help me. Okay, so it was opening this gate. Is that what happened? Hang on, right, let's listen. Hang on. To the door at the base of the huge crane in distance, but watch out for the guards and security bots. Alright, so then I was standing here, and then all of a sudden some explosions happened. Maybe, yeah, maybe the trash cans thing was, maybe they were not happy with the trash cans thing. Let me see, ready? Let's do a quick test. quite get up. Can I pick up a chair? Hey, can I borrow this? Thanks, buddy. Put this here. Hop. No, I can't hop on a chair. Wait, let, if I do this. Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Okay. Now we're on to something. I can't jump while I'm holding this. Lock and load. 
He's way too fast. They're okay. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a week. Where you been? Ah, workers camp. Messed up my hand while I was working on the sewer shutoff grate. Something came down and nearly took off my whole arm. Be on the lookout for cams. We're hacking in. <laughs> Bi weekly rotating gray death reminder clearances. James Keen. Oh, yeah. I don't think that was helpful. Four picks to break that door down. How strong is it, though? It's not very strong. All right, let's try something. Wait, this door's on. Oh, that's just a bathroom. But what's on that data pad? Dossa cube. Okay. Until further notice, all access to the advanced submarine facility ASF is restricted to FEMA authorized personnel only. The security should have them so should consider themselves on high alert. All entrances have been sealed and the codes will change daily. Today's code is 0909. Never ever mail somebody their password. Terrible IT practices here. Right, here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah. No. <sighs> Let's try this again in a second. Yeah. It didn't work. Didn't work. Remember how satisfying it was shooting cameras with silencers in the with the silence pistol in, in Goldeneye? Just <laughs> Fortunately, these ones need to be bypassed. That said, let's see what the bypass cost would be for this one. Two tools.
Uh, quick load. Alright. Well, we're not getting in there, so let, let's keep going. Fudge. I think I'm okay. I hear footsteps to my right. Making burgers and fries tonight. I'm excited for that. Oh yeah, baby. Leave that unlocked. Turn that shit off. Open that door. Off. Off. Nobody can see me now. Stay sharp, people. Stay frosty. Hold this position. What was that? A slamming pork gyro with fries in it. In it? Oh, God, that sounds great. What was that? Everybody, full alert. Ooh. Hey, that guy had a lamb. I don't have the key to that. Security bot over there. Big security bot over there. Keep an eye out for that. All right, let's uh, abuse this AI a little bit. That guy should pass out pretty soon here. Oh no. That guy should pass out in a minute. Son of a... There we go. In just a minute, everybody else should calm down. and burgers wrap so good, yeah. <sighs> Fries and burritos, excellent. Wait, so okay, so these these guys are snitching too, so unfortunately.
I mean, listen. Boss makes a dollar, they make a dime. Okay, so here's the other side. Ooh. Ooh, thank you for subbing up. Welcome back to the pizza party. Seven months. Cool picks. Further down. Further down. What's further down? I must know. Oh, water. Well, could go without that. It's locked. Well, going for a swim, folks. Don't try this at home. <gasps> Ooh, that's handy. All right, we're gonna have to get up into the fart zone here to, to. <gasps> that's extremely a camera. Okay, shit. And there's the turrets too. Uh, but there is a lamb right here. A law, sorry, not a lamb. But how do I get up there? I guess I can't do that from here. I could build a little thing. Can I? Am I strong enough to push this? Boy, what a pickle I'm in now. All right, let me do a weird manual save. Um, and here's my plan. I'm gonna eat some of these. Cool. It's gonna charge up my bioelectricity. I'm gonna push these over this way, but not all the way into the water. I'm gonna pull the hair up, but not out. Glad I haven't been spotted by that camera yet. When I do, that's gonna be bad. I'm gonna take this. My hands are full, thank you. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna plop this down here. Oh! Forgot, sometimes they just drop through the ground. I'm gonna go boop, 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 boop. Run, 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 crouch. Oh, that's a lamb. Oh no! <laughs> I do, maybe, I think maybe, I think I got rid of the scrambler. After looking at it in my inventory for fucking seven hours, I was like, I'm not gonna use you. All right, I think part of that plan was sound. I think that plan was sound up until the part I got seen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
set myself up for that kind of success once again. Alright, so there's our staircase. I'm still invisible. Save over this hell save, yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to be seen when I get up. If I go towards that little column, there's a lamb in there. If I go towards that lamb slowly, I can deactivate it. So, what do we have here? We got... We got two scramblers. So let me pop one of these down here on my tool belt. Replace the hazmat suit. Let me snarf a couple of these batteries. Cool. Let me... Let me... Alright. So, ready? Three-part operation. Part one. I throw the scrambler. And I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go on a little scouting mission. I do have radar invisibility, that's true. Can also law the cameras, but I might want to save that law for that ED209. I'm just gonna go see what's over by those lambs, because if I can take that lamb for myself, then I'll have one of the lambs that I need. Oh yeah, thank you for scrambling for exactly two fucking seconds. Alright. So this isn't good, right? This this doesn't work for me, because this is just... This is... I, I can't break through this. So that's good to know. I've learned something. But... There's the gun. Just looking right at me. That one's not looking at me. Let's just creep. Let's just creep. Oh, no! What? There's three of them? Well, let's, um, let's load my save before I wasted my life crawling around in the sewers. I've beaten the fuck out of everybody in this warehouse. Uh, let's see. All these cameras are off now, so... I can do whatever I want. Uh, I never made it to this room previously. They're, they're just sleeping. They're not dead. No email today.
Now, why is this desk locked? What do you got in there? What are you hiding? Wait, no, that's gonna kill everybody. Oh. Well, I've already killed a lot of people. I did a little fucky wucky. I saw some. Hold it. Oh, he's got a lamb. Give me that. Yeah. Are these robots just fully shut down now? What are these guys doing? Nope. Dark Souls, baby! Oh, my torso is in rough shape. How many lambs do I have? How many do I need? I need half a dozen? Got two. Got two lambs. Alright, so this will flood the sewers, maybe? I used up all my bioelectricity, too. Damn. Um, locked, 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 locked. Okay, those are just two different portions of the same door. Can I blow through? No, I can't blow through the door with a plasma gun. I don't have the key to get through there. Let me go scope out these offices again. Can scramble ED209s? Oh yeah, good point. What a good song. I already used that one. I already did that one. I got, I got in trouble for using this computer. Let's see if I can do it again. See if I can figure out what the fuck I did with this computer. Robot standby. Right? Okay, that, that's good, right? Off. 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 Log out. Oh, there's a special options? Maybe I came from the special options, though. Door strength, 35. See if this does anything. Nope, not quite strong enough. Okay, 
cabinets by the computer. Oh yeah, there, there, sometimes there there do be nano keys. Let's uh, let's burn some locks. Let, 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 you know, let, let's skate, save scum our resources here a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for the ten millimeter ammo. Oh, that's multiple nano keys. Commander's office and supply closet. That was worth it. All right, so that's not the commander's office, whatever this is. But the supply closet, where could that be? Rockets. Perhaps that's the supply closet. All right, we're gonna have to sneak past this ED-209 real quick. Let's try using our thermoptic camo. Incidental, engaging the enemy. Well. They never learn. Hey, meme shark. We're, we're not stuck in a one HP safe. We could back up if we wanted to. Um, we're just stuck in a big dumbass loop. Sorry about that. Ooh. Actually, you know, let's, let's let's go about this side of the the whole fortress. Nine. God damn terrorist! Making me sleepy. Oh, you need the bots up here. jumping through window mechanics in this game. Right? This is absolutely a window that that JC Denton, Juicy Denton, half cyborg, nano enhanced mega trooper should be able to just scuttle right through like a little fucking bug. Ah! 
Did I go? Did I already turn the robots off? I thought I turned the robots off. Did I not turn the robots off? You're not. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not supposed to die in this game. Let's wait for our icebreaker to refill. Mm. I mean, I think you are supposed to die. I mean, I guess suppose presupposes some sort of intentionality or some sort of grander plan, but it is inevitable that I will die. Am I an odd bot? Well, I told the robots to kill everything that's not a human. Standby mode didn't seem to do anything. What, is, what, is, what does standby mode mean? That's my question. Yeah. Rooney. Those were the perimeter robots, not all robots. Not all robots. <laughs> all right, robots are in standby mode. Log out. I'm going to hope that turns, that just means, you know, let's verify that. Boom. Um, let's go see those perimeter robots and see if they're sleeping. It's just there. Okay, so this is standby, standby mode. Just, just feeling things out here. Fucking done with this shit. Now do it again. Help. There's one. First of all, Mr. Bastor comes out of his gate real slow like, not like his name at all. Papa's delicate condition and Crystal Knock oh, almost trip over each other. Get your bets in, gentlemen, because Batman the horse isn't waiting around for anybody. Nice and sick, he says. What about me, boys? Ha <laughs> ha. Next up, Stinkfinger. Next to her, if Mandy Patinkin was a horse, comes in, bring it up the rear, old Felcher. And that's how the race was run. Thank you. I, I crashed Deus Ex, so we're going to have to do that again.
Miguel, I've done that with games. I'm trying to remember which... I did that with Stardew Valley as a joke. I've come really close with some of the Souls games to, like, just a thing happening and then just never going back to it. Oh, uh, the end of, um... The final boss fight in Luigi's Mansion, the new Luigi's Mansion, is just such a fucking slog. And it, it got to a point where I was like, um, I don't, I'm not going to keep trying this. So I was like, I'm, I'm done. This, this sucks. <laughs> Thank you, Faith. Thank you, Faith. Wait, well, hey, I want to go to the supply shed. I want to see what's in the fucking supply shed. That's locked. Commander's room is locked. This is just a comedy of errors. Did I not pick it? Is it in here? Alright. Use the keys? I thought they automatically add to my key ring. Yeah. Yeah, I got the supply closet and the commander's office on there. I just didn't use the key ring on the door. Oh. Really? Yeah, okay, it's locked. All right, so these are just the wrong doors. Yeah, I, I was using the key ring. Oh, try the elevator. Other button? Really? Other button. Yeah, left mouse and right mouse. Unless there's something else. That's 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 both mice. Got a alt fire. Like I, I've I've used it before on various things. It's weird, yeah, that it's not it's not give, giving me the animation for that one. It's not even firing off the click link.
Huh. Very strange. Anyways, let's just go up this fucking elevator. Who cares? Try taking the elevator to the top of that crane. You might be able to get on the roof and enter the building through the air conditioning ducts. I will never use a sniper rifle. What does this do? Agent J.C. Denton just going up a crane and then hitting a button, saying, what does this do as he's hitting a button? Accomplishment bonus. You won't believe this, JC. There was a raid on smugglers. I just saw Gunter get into a copter on the roof and head back to Yonatko. I checked the police bands, though, and they're still looking for smuggler. Looks like he managed to slip away. All right, let me think here. Let me think. I have to deal with some maintenance bots. I can turn invisible to them. Are you aware of me? Are you aware of me? Oh, they drain your bioelectricity. Man, thanks for. I forget who played, who played uh, Mr. Fast Horse, how the race was run. But thank you for that. That that really, that really brightened my day. I love to be reminded that that happened. Oh shit, Mr. Fast Horse, not like his name at all. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's delicate condition. Thank you, Mr. Gurgles. Ah, Papa's delicate condition. <laughs> Is it Papa or Daddy? I think it's Papa's delicate condition. Oh. Let me throw another, uh, let me do a quick save. Pop over slowly to here. And throw a quick sensitivity warning on the top of the stream.
has that did that successfully update it if if the stream title is that visible or is that change visible okay great thank you world universe looks like we're going to be uh, crawling through some 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 flashy flashy tunnels so if you have photosensitivity issues if you prone to photosensitive CZRs, now would be a good time to log off for a bit. The last time you went through one of these areas, it only took a couple minutes, but I have no idea how long I'm going to be stuck here. Whew, that's not good to look at. a little critter that I would love to destroy. So we're going to do a couple steps to get us there. We're going to drink a couple more batteries. We're going to juice ourselves up. We're going to quick save. Just gonna run down this hallway. So here we go, folks. <laughs> hey, not bad. Bugs in him. Unlocked, open. Good, 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 good. Unlocked. Okay. Talking about Shaft. Make a flying leap onto the boat, I suppose. Hell, hell yeah, why not? Works for me. Works for old Juicy Denton. Because I do have these legs that slightly reduce my fall damage. <laughs> You guys remember this one? All right, we've got cameras in the boat. An Ambrosia file. What am I hearing there? What am I hearing there? Sorry, mister. Orders are... Ah! There is another way to find Everett. He has a mistress. This ship's not big enough to run far. Remember that name when you get to Paris. Ah! 
Well, that's been our Monday stream, folks. Uh, we're going to cruise on over to Mike AM, who is streaming some Star Wars Squadrons, and I'm going to go make myself some dinner. It's 8 p.m. Hungry. Uh, and we will return to our uh, J.C. Denton's boat adventure on Wednesday. That hurt big time. Tip just tip got me, Odell. Tip, the tip just got me, Odell. Uh, yeah, everybody go to bed, get some rest, get make some dinner, chill out, uh, and enjoy Mike flying through space. We'll see y'all uh, soon. Bye.